Um, I'm wondering what skills fundraisers that are coming through should have today. Um, I'm actually going to ask each of you in, in turn, but I wonder if I could start with you, Michelle, just because you were talking about doing things simply. Yeah. What are the skills that fundraisers need now and possibly may need in the future, both in fundraising and possibly in general? Um, I think this is changing all the time and it's a quite a scary one in terms of how we provide the right training opportunities for people um, in my community. So when I started out, um, probably about 15 years ago now, um, you absolutely needed to get your specialism, be it in corporate or in philanthropy or major donors. Um, and I was talking to a very well thought of um, uh, arts fundraiser working with big organisations and she said to me, quite honestly, she said, I've always been um, really good at major donor fundraising and that's why people have employed me and I've been able to earn really good salaries. But I feel I'm becoming a bit of a dinosaur because what the organisations that I'm that I'm working with need now is business skills. They need broader strategy skills. They need innovation. They need creativity. Um, and actually, that defined skill set, while you've got to have that technical capability, um, isn't enough anymore. Um, and so I think we really are looking at um, a broader range of, of business skills. Um, and the other thing is that you've got to have the knowledge of your organisation. I know that sounds an obvious thing to say, but I think um, historically fundraising was um, just one strand of activity and you didn't need to be a specialist in the opera or the dance or the music or, or whatever um, you were, were doing. And I think the savvy new philanthropist and donor is going to want to talk to a fundraiser that is absolutely knowledgeable about the art form and also how the business runs. So, I think it's a really broad skill set now, and I think they're having to train people in a different way. Yeah, I would say, um, for a start, I think you have to multitask, because um, I kind of feel as a fundraiser, you're the broker, um, and you're the one that's delivering messages, carrying messages around, and you've got to use your judgment. And I think people skills is crucial because you need to adapt. It's maintaining who you are, it adapting to different circumstances, different people. You need, you're going to have to get information from project managers about, um, obviously, your application or your sponsorship proposal. But quite often, you might get project uh, managers who are busy, don't have the time. So you've got to think, I've got to facilitate this whole process for them. What kind of questions do I need answers for? I'm almost going to hand it to them on the plate so I can get the responses off them. Then you've got to think, how am I going to interpret that to, say, a corporate audience or an individual donor? And, um, and just, I think, um, reflecting what you said as well, the strategic thinking. It's not enough just to be a fundraiser and write applications. It's about thinking, right, how am I going to cultivate this donor or this sponsor or this funder from start to finish, and it's a cycle, and constantly being able to monitor and evaluate how things are going, because you need to then report back, see where you've particularly failed or done well, how can you improve, go back to them, even if it's halfway through the partnership, look, this is going really well, infuse them, engage them. It's not just a start to finish. So it's really thinking about, and then also negotiating, being confident in, in understanding what it is that you've got, and it goes back to, I guess, a bit of business, business skills, again, you know, how you can package what you've got, how you can potentially sell it, um, understanding a bit about marketing as well, because if you're a fundraiser, um, understanding that, for example, your website is a massive tool, but it's not just the website itself, it's not the audience it brings, who's going to be interested in the audience? Um, a corporate might love your website, love your cause, um, but actually your website's not bringing in enough people, so that's not giving them the audience that they need. So it's, it's being able to think, um, think of it as a business, fundraising is like a business, thinking ahead, thinking long term, and, and also being adapt, adapt yourself to different environments, so good people skills. Okay, um, I'm, I was reminded as, as people were talking there, you may all follow this um, feed on Twitter, but there's, there's a woman in the States who's the whiny donor. Um, if you don't follow her, she's fantastic. Um, and and her, her tweet yesterday was, to a donor, the development office is like Spanx. It may be what, the may be what makes the entire outfit possible, but we don't want to know it's there. <laughs> and um, yeah, that just struck a chord with me. If I have to explain what Spanx are, <laughs> then... <laughs> 